Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Thank you for, thank you for waiting. Thank you for being here. Hope you guys are having a good time playing the nonary games. Nah, nah, no, 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 game. Um, pretty fun so far. Let's get back to it. I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. No announcements, no nothing. So let's, let's just get back to the game, huh? All right, using force, I see. Let's give it a try. Yeah! <laughs> it won't budge. That was a sick tune, by the way. That is, uh, off, that is all my friend Pedro OST. The my friend Pedro OST is fucking awesome. It's really good, dude. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. Um, Visaruja, I don't have, I don't make plans like that. Yeah, I'm playing this one now. If, as far as playing the next one, who knows? I've only had like two hours in this game, so I don't know if I'm going to like it all the way through. I like it so far, but. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Yeah, there you go, Rock. Idiots. Try using your brain first. L listen, bitch. Sometimes brute force works, okay? Tit's not always as simple as that. <laughs> huh? Take a closer look. No, I, I only said bitch because I felt personally attacked. I felt like she was talking to me. Right. It's obvious what we need to open the store. What's that? <clears throat> a key, huh? Way to spit it out there, Silver. Good job. All right, hold on. Let me save it real quick. Okay. Okay. Um, I would like to quit. Just let me do this real quick. The sound effects are, are a little, are a little jarring, but I want the voices to be up. I'm glad they have a slider though. That's nice. Okay. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Using force. I see. Oh, oh, okay. <sighs> it won't budge. I tried to use my, <laughs> I tried to use my Cracko ability. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Brain no work. Take a closer look. A keyhole. Right. It's obvious what we need to open the store. When what's that, Silver? <clears throat> a key, huh? Yeah! You did it! You got a problem? No. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> good, good job, Silver. And there was much rejoicing. What's this? <laughs> Man! It's a tough one. Hmm, it's got a knob and a keyhole. Blender? Nah, that's not a blender. There's a mark on it. 
Oh. Does, does it mean something? Okay. Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? It's a jackal! More doors. <laughs> I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. <laughs> and what shape is a triangle? Do you, the viewers at home, know? Can you pick out the triangle? Yeah! That's it! May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. I know! Mountain will use his brain! <laughs> what is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. Now, that's the kind of description I can understand. Because that's what I would call it. It'd be like, h with a, with a, a, a female silhouette, a hair silhouette. You know, the symbol that looks like a, a, an H with like a female hair silhouette. Um, I use that kind of terminology when playing uh, uh, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. Whoa! Holy moly! Oh my god, Sidro gifting 33 subs out. What do you got now? 663 Ooh. gifted subs for Sidro total. Oh my god! And there was much rejoicing. Yay! Is this, what is this one? Yeah! Sidro! <laughs> Thank you, Sidro, for giving out all those subs. 33. All right, let me just read these off real quick. Uh, Jaeger Khan, the Stoic Thunderhawk, Corzinius Zika, Hex Former Squawks, Luzianos, Dot Hippo Cat, Mr. Mega Genesis, Twitch. Twitchy Stabby Dead, Major J J03, Jigsaw 0621, Calorian, Sharp Aim Not. Mr. Bones 88, Pyridine, Danny Ron, Verum Lumen, Fat Dementor, um, Cripsin, 42 Kupo Nuts, Faint Lich, Juva, uh, Juvar 23, Mr. No, 4 Eyed uh, Udon, Goldfish 4K 14, Stooly 3, Fireborn, Fix, Fix, Fix Faxer, Second Monkey, Renpool, Juke, 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 Juke um, OS, OS 0, OS 0, and Mac Machian. Thank you. Hail, Berserker. Thank you very much, Subdubs, and thank you, Citro, for being the generous fuck that you always are. You're a, you're an amazing person. And there it is. Three more gifted subs, and he's hit the magic number six, six, six. The number of the beast. 666 gifted subs in this channel. And you have been named the adversary, the beast. His number is six, three score and six. And welcome to Blue Blood Blues, Mo uh, Mo's, Slow Mode Zick, and Rabble Will Hail, Berserkers. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Um, Rabble Will, you are, you are, you have the honor of being the six hundred. And 66th sub that Citro has gifted you. Gifted out. Quick, realize what the root number of that is. Uh, nine. Whoa, it is nine. 666, the root number is nine. Ooh, interesting. Uh, okay, we have some symbol again. We did? We did? I don't remember that. What's up, Johnny? A deck, huh? huh? I haven't been there, so <laughs> I wouldn't know. Big gulps, huh? Well, see you later. We may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. 
The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. The Zodiac Killer? This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. God, I love my... I loved you, Bay. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. Shadow time, I miss your sub because I hate you. So I will not acknowledge your six month subs. I will not acknowledge it. Um, and Pete Coggs, I will not acknowledge your 29 months either. Don't even ask. <laughs> I accept. <laughs> the windows too. They're all covered. I took a picture of you and Zeke and made you old. You look even more like a homeless man as an old dude. Well, post it, man. Post the link. Put it on Imgur and post it. In other words... We're locked in. We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Duh. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. Also, the Russian government has Zeke's face. You know, that doesn't bother me as much because if they actually end up using it, I, I'll just sue Johnny. Because I can't sue them, but I can definitely sue Johnny. No, I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. We can't stay here forever. Uh, this guy kind of reminds me of Golden Ball from One Punch Man. Like He's got a similar face, doesn't he? Or am I way off base? Yes. I'm in favor as well. No, I'm totally against this. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what will happen. We should stay here. We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, shut up! <laughs> a little late on that. No one spoke for like 10 seconds. Hey, shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. Welcome, Blitz. Thank you for the five bucks. I love you. Maybe a little um, but, uh, um, uh, um, platonic love there too. Waka Blitz. You can just love me. You don't have to have any qualifiers. You're gonna say you love me and I'll take it the right way, I promise. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy, don't call me that. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. I love you too, Bangzor. Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Wait a minute. Does this guy work at the Apple store by the fucking... by the fucking docks? Like, he captures lobsters for the Apple store. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? 
You don't think if he captured you and put you on a boat with a little, like, a game all this planned out, he doesn't know where you live and your family and shit? You think, like, that's beyond his, like, abilities? But we still need to know what our names are. I think you're alright, dude. I have a problem expressing my emotions. <laughs> game on, pants off. You obviously don't have problems expressing other things. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? I want to be Drake Dark Phoenix. Just call me Dark Phoenix. Drake, call me, call me Shadow Phoenix. Yeah, we'll each pick something. I'll be, what about? <laughs> no, I don't want to be Mr. Pink. Mr. Pink sounds like Mr. Pussy. I'll, I'll, I'll be, I'll be Mr. Purple. You're not Mr. Purple. Another guy in another boat is Mr. Purple. You're Mr. Pink. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Man, Junpei. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Super genius, dude. All right. I'm going to be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Oh, you're a super clever anime douche. Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? Oh. Never mind. My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. As I'm sure you all know, I did not know that. Why don't we just call you Tits McGee? <laughs> no reason. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Seven. Oh, eight. Eight. Right, eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. No, no, we're not calling you Snake. Okay, no one gets to pick their names. Their, na their names are just the numbers on their wrist, okay? That's it. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice, snake eyes, clearly, which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Oh, that's why his eyes are closed. He's blind. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. Four? Like a four-leaf clover? You know, like a four-leaf clover. Yeah! Good luck, right? Yeah! All right, my number's five. So I'll be... Just call me six. Because six minus one is five. That's how you'll remember me. So my code name is going to be... Uh... <laughs> it's going to be ears. Because we all have five ears, right? Wait, no, that's not going to work. Why well, have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Uh... Uh, then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh... What's your bracelet number? Upside down six. You mean nine? Yeah. It's six. Oh, fuck, I nailed it, though. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? Why? I don't get it. June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. Oh, I get it now. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's clever. Oh, no, that was a good one. Oh, let me see that. Let me see that picture there. Jesus Christ, Johnny. Oh, my God, I look like my dad. I look like a hippie version of my dad. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. 
Oh my god, I hate you. Oh god. Okay, hold on. What? What? Hold on. I, I mean, this is worth showing you guys. If it's still here, there it is. Look at this. Like, look at that. Oh, the colors are off. Hold on. Hold on. Why are the fucking colors? There we go. <clears throat> look at that, dude. That is... I mean, you can totally, can you see, you can see my dad, dude, in that, in that picture. Wow. Ugh. Ugh, I hate it. Oh God, I hate it. Ugh. I hate how realistic those things are. Like, how, like, how they actually kind of look like they could be you. Ugh. All right. All right. <clears throat> Six month of the year. Oh, that's right, June, right. So you're June. And I'm June pa June Pay. Too confusing. Jumpy. Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. Let's just call him that. Glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. That's your code name from now on. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Uh... <laughs> what number are you? Upside down six. Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. That's exactly what I said, Seven Lust. I said Theo Ransom. The professor. I'm the only one left. Like, whoa. Like, whoa, Clover. How are we going to get out of here when there's so many g g g ghosts? So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? I'll wait for everything for 14 months. Welcome back. Uh, code name? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. Big McLarge Huge. I don't need one. Call me 11. I'm a big Stranger Things fan. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. No, I changed my mind. All right. Let me show you. I curse your name for I know that I'm a CK name, but do not remember any other nicknames. I'm oh, gonna yeah. do this! He's going Super Saiyan! <laughs> what a- Hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? The, um, the forbidden dance. Stay back. Ah. If you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Uh. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? <laughs> Go get her! Go, go get him, Snake! Ah! Yeah, I'm fine. Let's call him Knifey McStabstab! What the hell are you trying to do? 
I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Let's call him Co Carnage. That's your code name. Co Carnage. Good vibes, buddy. Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here. Verify. Uh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? Oh, the many names of David Ryder, right. Dude, pan the camera up so we can see your murder boner. Only if it's real murder, Scott. Not fake-ass anime murder. I'd have a boner all the time. I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Do it! Yesterday you said tomorrow. Do it! Just do it! Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this? So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. But if we put our right hand in, and then put our right hand out, and then we shake it all about, do the hokey pokey! Then, should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets, and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door five. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good, good, you're done. Next. You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes. I am. So? <laughs> then you're next. I love this dialogue. It's 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 so like cheesy and, and elementary, but it's fucking I love it. I'm loving it. Just verify your number like this little brat did. It's kind of trash. <laughs> but it's a good trash. What are you doing? Do it! Don't you care what happens to her? Okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Mm. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written on the door, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. So it has to be three. So, we gotta get, let's see, one plus four, and then we gotta get something else that adds up to five to be eight and two. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back. No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine. Nine plus five is fourteen would make five. One plus, one plus nine is fourteen. One plus one plus two plus one. No, no, no. One plus one plus two plus one. And the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. In other words, five dollar foot long. <laughs> hey. 
Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Good. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> Wait. Here. She's all yours. No, no, no. Three people have to go in. Elsa. Elsa said don't take the cup beyond the seal. <laughs> Okay, have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Goodbye. Goodbye. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it. That bastard. Oh, that's why that, that snake is, is dressed like that, because he doesn't dress himself. I get it. Or doesn't, Open, damn it! Doesn't doesn't I can't see to pick out his own clothes. Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. Zeke playing anime bullshit is now my right. favorite thing. I can hear it too. I'm glad you like it. Glad you guys are having fun. What is it? They got Pong? They got Pong back there? Why didn't anybody tell me they had an arcade in this boat? Oh my god, Mom! Mom, give me five bucks so I can get some quarters! Why is it stopping? God damn it! You, you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! I'll dial what up, 28 months, mom! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? I am against Open using door, contractions! Please. I'm begging you! Help me! Please get me out of here! Ah, God damn it! Open the door, you filthy bastards, and kick your rotten heads in! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? No, it's because it met its match in Taipei. He wasn't even looking for it. But damn, if he didn't know what he wanted right away. Uh, oh my god, oh my god. There's no time left. Listen, I was lied to. He lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. It was him. <laughs> well, <sighs> yes, I just want a soundboard with all of their uh, uh. a beep. Did that thing just make that sound? I just, I just love it. It's like, did that thing make that sound? What thing? You know, the thing with the thing on it. Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number. Yeah. But it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Right. What to do? Okay, so Ace and Lotus would be nine. Snake and Seven would be nine as well. Santa and June. Um, let's see. Do we always want to take Lotus? Because I think we do. I think we always want to have Lotus with us. Snake and Seven. A blind guy and a fucking dumbass. Good, good idea. Uh, fucking meth head. And a fucking tiny girl nerd. Let's let's go with uh, leader and 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 boobies. Uh, Brogetta, thank you for the thirtieth, thirty second month. 
Welcome back. T damn, darn those tiny girl nerds. I'm just saying, like, if I'm going to go with a female sidekick, I don't think it's much of a choice there. Like, I'm going to go with Esmeralda from the Hunchback or whatever <laughs> she's dressed up as. Ace, Lotus, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. 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 Five plus one plus eight equals fourteen. The digital root of fourteen, one plus four, equals five. This should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh my god! Good god! Whoa, that's... Pretty bad. Thank you, Seven. Good input. He... He blew up. Ah! June, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Oh my god, she's got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Someone quick, hurry. Uh... All right, okay, uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Here we go. How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? No, I'm not all right. I'm wearing socks on my wrists for no reason. Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Ooh, F word. This is an adult game. Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> it's 10 o'clock then. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap! I like it when people do that. They use a real swear and then kind of an edge swear. Like, fuck! What is this poop? How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit zero is going on about is up. Let's get going already! Go! Go! Do you gotta go fast, buddy? No, I refuse. I'm not going to end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Blood. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. No, it's actually, you can die like that. <laughs> I think he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> Snake, what's wrong with you? Oh, I I was just remembering when I had sight. It was so nice. <laughs> what's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Sass bags! What up with eight months? Good to see you. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least not the sort of trap you imagine it did. So, <laughs> like, like, I want you to make me look like Michael Jackson at the DMV. Like, that works at the DMV. Okay, can we do that? I think you're gonna like it, and I think we nailed it. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... Ugh. All right, how about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said? Specifically, what did he say about the number of people, 
Three to five people in the room! You said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door, right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> Zero said... Oh. That only two people can go through. Right? No, wait. Everyone who verified had to come. No, that can't be it. More than six people can go through. That's gotta be it. It was something about how more than six people could pass through. Totally. Hmm. No, it, wait. That's wrong. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. That's what the letter said. In other words, no less than three, and no more than five. No love? She just said no love. No less than three. I, but I less than three, you? You don't less than three, me? Terrible. <laughs> um. Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm cracking jokes the whole time, man. This is going to take forever. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. No, I failed that on purpose, guys, by the way. I knew it was three to five people and only the people that, like, hit the thing could go through. I, I know that. I wanted to see what the fail condition was like. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere. Listen, if I make a mistake, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and think and tell you I didn't. I'd be like, wow, I've really fucked up. I'm stupid, all that kind of stuff. Like, I have no problem doing that. Making sure we don't break any rules. Tell us before. Well, sir, but if I told you before, then it wouldn't be a debate or a troll. It would ruin the joke. You would, uh, like, you assume I'm stupid. I'm just going to play into it. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. You don't see anything, though. <laughs> I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but... Um, you a comedians in cars getting coffee guy? Oh, absolutely. I've, I think I've watched all of the episodes at least twice. I've watched the Joel Hodgson and Super Dave Osborne. God, I can't remember his name. But I've watched those ones multiple times because those are probably my favorites. That seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Because I can't. Oh, I got a million of them, man. I got a million of them. Come on now. What's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. I don't. <laughs> see, oh, man, I can do it all day. This is Braille. Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that car? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Paper? Braille? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight... I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. Redemption. No. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, 
You have to leave the game to stop the detonator in your bracelet. Oh, so there's a bomb in our bracelets. Okay. You would think like they would put them around your neck or something. But instead. perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I'm afraid this might be something of a surprise. <laughs> Rangers. Power Rangers Assemble. This is Zordon. Power Rangers. <laughs> I have placed a small bomb inside of you and the people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it while you were unconscious. Oh, okay. So the bomb is inside us. I have no doubt. By the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found it way to your small intestine. Oh my god! So all we need to defeat Zero is Arby's uh, or Burger King Zesty Sauce! Burger King Zesty Sauce? You know the stuff they put on you put on your onion rings? Just give me Zesty Sauce and give me three hours, and that shit is coming out! In other words, you will be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. See, Taco Bell doesn't make, give me the runs. What gives me the runs, without fail, is Burger King Zesty Sauce, and it's what, like, they give you, if you ask for it with, like, onion rings or, like, whatever. But every, like, the next day if, after I have it, 100% guaranteed loose poop. Um. <laughs> hey. Chat, I want to play a game. The rules are simple. There's a bomb up your ass. And I'm going to butt fuck you to activate it. Live or die. It's your choice. <laughs> that one was care of Scott, by the way. All right, um... In other words, you'll be able to re oh, regurgitate a session. Okay, so no throwing up. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote fuse or timer for the bomb in your body. There is only one condition to call it to detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Whiskey ho or wow, whiskey hose, whiskey hoss. Sorry, whiskey hoss. Brand new sub. Hail Berserker. Thank you, whiskey hoss. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have eighty-one seconds. Nine. Root root number nine. If after that time, the detonator has not been deactivated. It will send a signal to the bomb in your body, instructing it to explode. In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. Once all numbers have been verified by the dead, you need only pull the lever at its side, and the countdown will cease. Oh my god. The bad guy is a is a fucking like sentient rogue speaking spell from back in the early 80s. Oh no! Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the dead. That is to say, if you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the numbered doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. So long as the doors open, the dead will not function. You will do well to remember this. Okay. Lastly, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, there's a little latch on the back. It's kind of tricky. You have to just squeeze it on both ends 
and it'll pop open, and then you can take it off. I mean, oh shit, I probably shouldn't have told you that. In the worst, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the X out of the wearer's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. Okay. So basically, if I did the, the whole Mission Impossible thing and, like, killed myself clinically dead for a little bit, it would pop off. If you attempt to force it off, when you say go to Tetanaya, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. Yeah, I mean, cut your hand off, right? That's why, like, all of the, all of these little problems would be solved if it was, like, around your neck instead of your arm. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the number doors. Oh my god, are we gonna repeat Teams this? Can't add or subtract oh my god, I get it! Fuck's sake, guys! Enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and execution. Got it. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, you gotta clip that one. <laughs> Can I repeat? I don't know how to repeat something. I want to repeat that. It's like, oh, 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 I just swallowed a sausage. Shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Oh, that's what he's. Okay, they're trying to puke it up. That's what he's doing. All right. Wynoka, what up, 10 months, thank you, and Peacock with 18, you got a year and a half, welcome back, Peacock, and Wynoka. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right, I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Yeah, okay. Fur keeps me warm with a prime sub. Hey, Oberseeker. <laughs> Thank you, Fur keeps me warm. Welcome back. You make every day better at all. Thank you, Shines. Good to see you. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys. Give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? Yeah, I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. I'm actually having fun with the English dialogue. Like, the, the lines, like, the script is so, like, just ham-fisted. They just pound the same things over and over again into your head that I don't, I don't think the Japanese is going to help this. That mask... It was really scary. Huh? Oh, so... All of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. I don't think it's a bad story, because it's, it's like there's no story yet. But this exposition right now is taking... The person claiming to be Zero a had a mask A long on. time, man. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-Deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? I want to get to a puzzle. Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. There's nothing obvious about that at all. You look nothing alike. 
that really so hard to understand? Yeah, he's 50, you're 14. That's hard to understand. She is correct, of course. Another person who hates contractions. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Quit calling me that! I hate that fucking name! My name is Junpei, or Dark Phoenix. Ah, oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah? Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. I remember when I was in school for those three years. I played a lot of connecting the dots. <laughs> it was my favorite, my favorite school subject. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. Ring a bell? <laughs> ring a bell? Say it again! Say ring a bell again, I fucking dare you! Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? I love you, Japan. I love you, localization team. I love you so much. Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's gotta be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. Fair. That's astute. Man, we're just sitting here talking while time waits, I thought waits, we were huh? finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Thank you! God, okay, you're on my side, okay? I'm starting to like, I'm starting to come around on Santa. Talking won't solve anything. It can't help us find our way out of here. Yes! Are you really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. I'm sorry, what? Did someone say my name? Oh. Oh, you were- oh, never mind. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? You'd be a lot prettier if you smiled a little more. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, we gotta change that. Not you too. Sorry, I think I said you are awesome. Minus running into that coffee table with the VR headset. Oh, thank you, Tazude. Thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> hey, man. I just bought these shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? 
weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine. I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. How do you know that? Because I do. That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. Okay! What am I going to do with you? What, a, what am I going to do with you? All right, so we got two and seven. So we need five. That's me. That's me. So it's me and these two. There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Uh, no. That's, that's, uh, two plus four is six. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on. Not seven, six. No, four. Four plus two, three is seven. Five and nine, dwarf and phone are... No, wait, it's gotta be your bowl. All right, so he is one, she is four, and then he is two. So that'd be seven, right? Four, five, six, seven. That wouldn't work. But her and her brother are four and f uh, like four and two, so that's six. So they would need an eight to go through the five door. Seven is seven and snake is two. And if you add clovers four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. <laughs> Love this game. Love to you too. Thank you, darling KD. Welcome back for 13 months. The digital root of 14. One plus four is five. Oh, it works perfectly. Oh, I love the animation. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their digital root going to be? I don't know. Lotus, Santa, June, and me. What? Eight, three, six... 17 plus 5, 22, so 4. Our bracelet numbers are 8, 3, 6, and 5. 8, 3, 6, 5. What would our digital root be? Hmm. 8 plus 3 plus 6 plus 5 is 22. So, the digital root of 22, 2 plus 2 equals 4. Oh my god! Call NASA! I've solved it. 2 plus 2! Equals four. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. <laughs> Fucking thanks, June. Yeah, huh, that worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Sounds great. Are these really the teams I want? I don't know. Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. I never want to see that thing again, but something's telling me that it'd be a good idea to examine the corpse, even just a little closer. Just a little closer. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? Mm. All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. Okay. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... Don't slow down! Door. I'll go four. I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and June. I don't want to do any more math. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. <laughs> it's no problem this way. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. Uh... Now then. Goodbye.
<laughs> I just, I don't know, that struck me funny. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. <clears throat> Ray Cluster gifting a sub to Lila Lulio Lulo. <sighs> but now it's three months. Welcome back. And also, uh, Zara Bora has got 22. 22 months to watch the best streamer on Twitch. Fuck yeah. Two more till that goal, baby. So horrible. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? Don't worry, I'll go in first. Let me just find the light. Oh, fuck! I fell down because I'm blocked. I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for nine seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. All right, now that those guys are gone. Hey! What are we gonna do? Over there? Did you find anything? Please say something, will you? Uh, something's beeping. It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet. Do you think they're okay? Uh. <laughs> uh. Hey, there it is! That's gotta be that dead thing! Come on, get over here! We gotta authenticate! The beeping stopped. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys, are you doing all right over there? Did the beeping stop? I don't know. Did the beeping stop? The beeping stopped. Hey, the beeping stopped. The beeping stopped. Yes, the beeping stopped. Yep, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm going to tell you about this whole dead thing, okay? The dead is just like the red, but the color is different. You know how the red was red? <laughs> Go on! Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome! Thanks! That helps a lot. Fucking... F oh, I get it! You're right, Finvara! That's what we all have in common! They plucked each of us out of Mensa! That's the connection! Well, we should probably move on now. You be careful out there. Roger that. Whew. Now it's our turn. Okay. I'll go first. All right. Okay, we ready? Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right, let's go. Big money, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, and stop! Run! Oh, damn. Damn! It's counting down. We can't go back! <laughs> That's right, I, I graduated at the top of my base DD class. I was first chair paste eater at, at Juilliard. <laughs> nice one, Shinigami. We need to hurry and find the device. Hey, where the hell is the dead? How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. <sighs> Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. Oh no, how many rooms do you think there are? Ah, uh, fuck. We don't have time to count. What? But that's all we're good at! That's all we've been doing! Oh no! We just need to open them all. It, it won't open. Shit, this one's no good. Same here. It's not moving! Oh. There it is, at the end of the hallway. Run! Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddammit! I'm asking you how many seconds we have left! 
Hurry! Can't you look on your own fucking watch thing? It's the dead! Get over here! Come on, everyone! <laughs> I'm trying, Finvara. I'm trying. I'm actually enjoying myself. <sighs> I mean, <sighs> when you got a game like this, it just, I mean, with, that makes your job easy. It's just a joy to come to work every day. Oh, <sighs> 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 uh, looks like it stopped. <sighs> <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. Lamp? And of course it won't open. <laughs> oh, hey, J Jumpy, it's because you're trying to open the lamp. Try the door instead. <laughs> A keyhole. Like, it won't open. This door is stuck. That's a lamp. Right. Door. Ah, there we go. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, th that's right. The sun. There better not be Pluto in there because Pluto's not a planet. Saturn. And Earth. And fire and heart. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Jumpy, let's have a talk. You're you're thirty one years old now, and it's time you knew the truth. Yeah, so, I looked the place over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then that must mean... Oh, he is Quicksilver. He already checked all of the doors. He looks... I thought, I thought that was the case. Like, he looked like Quicksilver. We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. I'll open B92. Okay, I'll get B93 then. And I'll go get B52 because I think behind that door is the love of shack. You sit way back in the middle of a ship. Just a funky old shack and I gotta get back. Sorry. That was a pretty good joke. One, two, three. Hey, it opened. Yeah, it did. I, uh, I didn't expect that. It was so easy. <laughs> Glitter on the bulkhead. Glitter on the carpet. Glitter on the bloody body. <laughs> Number... <laughs> Tin roof exploded. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. I can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. You two take the other one. Now how about me and you, Lotus? Me and Lotus will search all the, the this room, and you guys take your time and search the other rooms. Maybe, may, is it hot in here? Maybe we should... Should lose. Maybe we should search without our pants on. All right. Okay. Oh my fucking god! Gameplay. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo! Gameplay. Seek a way out. All right. Room ninety-two. And the room 92 root is two. The base looks expensive. 
wonder how much we can get for it. Are you gonna steal it? Hee hee hee! Is that like a negative space image? Kind of weird looking picture. You think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant nose. Sucking on a human being's brain. Hell did that come from? Her, what's her brain made of? Can't say I find, uh, mind finding out a little more about what goes on in there. Looks like there's a room on the right side of the picture. Looks like there's a room? Oh, to the right of the picture. There we go. That's the bathroom wall. No way! Square tiles all over it. All got geometric shapes. Little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I used the shower once, so I know. Okay, that was a, that was a joke. That was a purposeful joke. That's the shower knob. What happens when we turn it? No water comes out, okay. Nothing special about it. Okay. Oh, I'm in the shower now, okay. Now let's check the toilet. There's nothing there, the tank's empty too. Isn't even any water in it, okay. Function of full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper since, oh, someone was well prepared. There's nothing new suspicious about it. Feels dry. No one's using a long time. Okay. Okay. Nope. Why don't we go back to the living room? Okay. What's that? Matches! Box of matches, there are matches inside, Obvi obviously. Do we burn down the door at the end of the hallway with these matches? Not gonna work, huh? Nope. Okay, I get it, yep. Probably light a small oh, yeah. fire How's with your these. Fever? You feeling better now? Yes, I'm fine. Let me see your forehead. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Are you <laughs> worried about me? Oh my god, what? I guess I am. Yeah, I, I guess I am. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-deck. Damn straight. Oh, what's the other what's the other end of that joke? It's a uh, it's Oh, can a matchbox? No, but a tin can. Right? But is that really the truth? What? Jumpy, are you hiding something from me? No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Yeah, let's get angry at each other for absolutely no reason. Are you hiding something? What would I hide? Well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? You mean, like, the number of men I've dated? What the f- where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> Do you want to know? That's not even what we're talking about! <sighs> don't worry. Only 18. Nine? Wait, is that nine? That's num root number nine. Yeah. <sighs> Time zero.
Yeah. I guess I just haven't met Mr. Right yet. You haven't met Mr. Anything. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see. Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Look for the helpers. That's Mr. Rogers. Different show. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas who it might be? No, nothing. Oh, um... Well, if it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal? Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No, I can barely remember any of them. Yeah, I know. Oh, back to gameplay. Okay, got, got it. We're good. Ah. Uh, Tubby, what are you doing? We don't have the time to relax on the sofa. Sorry. There's nothing displayed. Okay, how sad. Looks like the dwarves, the dwarves, the dwarves are empty. Okay. Round wooden table. Okay. The bottle with water in it. This is a bedroom. Man. She's a super sleuth. I can't, see, like, why would you call it a bedroom? What gave it away? Probably have a curious stroke. Always feel dry when you wake up. My throat's dry, but I think I'm a little nervous right now. But we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? Now we're getting somewhere. Now your out of the blue comments are swinging my way. Whoa! Giggle, just kidding! I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna slap the taste out of your mouth. I will slap the taste out of your mouth. Too late to take it back. My brain's already working out the picture. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. Can I have it? Wooden cupboard, cups and size, surprising no one. Okay, can I not take it? Okay. Picture. This isn't a painting. It's a map. Looks like a map of the ship's interior. Oh, this is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. It is now possible to use the map screen. Map screen, map screen can only be viewed during the story sections. While on the uh, ship's floor plan, you may acquire over the course of the story. Pressing that will allow you to see a bird's eye view for that room. <sighs> this ship is bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro. Huh. Even if it's just some sort of style choice, there's just too much. Do you remember what Zero said? Two hours and forty minutes. And it was April fourteenth, so four. 14. Wait, no, no. What was the date? April something, 1914? I could Google it. Oh, 1912. It was April 14, 1912. Okay. Perfect. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm, that's a good point. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. Uh, you can check logs in game, oh can I? Hello? No. File? No.
Okay. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Do you think this boat is... Floating? A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Crazy Titanic fans. No way! Do you even know how much money that would take? No idea. But all they've got to do is break even, you know? Yeah, they had, like, the Titanic had, like, other ships, like, sister ships. The, yeah, Olympic and the Britannic. Right? Warp 9? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Yeah, good idea! Put Titanic on it, nice work, fucking idiot. Hell, with marketing like that, they'd probably have more customers than they'd know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? Yeah, they would. Just check out one and a half million people signing up for Area 51 and, and ask again. It's the site of the worst accident in history. Uh, over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know, curses and stuff? No. Whoop. Wait. Hold on, let me calculate that. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. No, they're crap. Sorry, but I, I can't really say I believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, what about you? No, nah, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Hmm. Yes, I do believe in curses. Really? I would have never guessed. In fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Oh, yeah, sure. What? A curse sank the Titanic. The curse of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. No, it's because the fucking Protestants who were building the Titanic, every rivet they would put in, they'd shout, fuck the Pope. And that's why it sank, at least according to the, the, the Irish Catholics. Which was stolen from a pyramid. And they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysterious deaths. Come on, I'm sure you've heard of it before. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? So you're saying the Titanic sunk because of that curse? That's right! <laughs> That's stupid. I don't buy it. <laughs> Finally! Finally, he says something that I would say! That's stupid. It's true. How can you be so sure? Uh, be awesome instead. No idea why I keep coming back, but here I am being awesome. Yes, indeed. Good to see you again, my friend. That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. What is so unbelievable about it? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. No way! Egyptians are not pretty. That couldn't be possible! Pretty? Yes. But she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked alive. Zeke, I'm calling Rami right now. Hey, he ain't pretty. He's He might be handsome, but, like, I wouldn't say Rami's pretty. <laughs> oh, okay, I get it. Okay, it's that thing. I uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah? The fat in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And... And then you light at the stage and wax a chump like a candle. Yes, saponification, but that's not what it was. How in the fuck do you know what that word is? There is no fucking way. That was your word of the day on your calendar. There's no fucking way you just knew that word. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? 
They say that she was frozen. What? They're frozen? That's right. The whole body was frozen solid. Oh, let it go. Let it go. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic. Oh, go ahead and boo me. Boo, go ahead, boo me. That was a great joke. Fuck you. Even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. What? Huh? Nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. W well, yeah, um... Ice that doesn't melt, even in the desert? Does, does something like that really exist? No, even if it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. You know ice isn't a thing, right? Ice is just water that's that's frozen, right? We, y y You do know that. Like, it's not its own element. So good. It's light. <laughs> Even if it's heavy, oh my God. Oh, I take it all back. I hate this game. <laughs> Two pillows right next to each other. Guess it's guess it's a double. Huh? What's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is her fever back? Hey, are you all right? Do you need to lay down for a minute? I'm fine. I think it's so early for that. Huh? Hey, seriously, you really okay? Oh, whoops. Sorry, I'm clicking through too fast. A bed frame. Now we don't have to worry about falling off. I toss and turn when I sleep. She's blushing again. The hell is she thinking about? Light blue blank with some designs on it. Someone's made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets under the blanket. Nothing exciting. Bed frame. Bed frame. Mattress? Nope. Nope. You're taking a look at this blanket? I think we covered it pretty well. Oh my god. That was lame enough to get her to blush a little. Ugh. Ugh. Look what I found. A dresser key. Do you think it's the key to the dresser? Maybe. It's a dresser. There's nothing on top. There's a mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on. It's not like there's anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Forget it, Jumpy! God. Chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. It's a light. Thanks to it, we can see. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, go ahead. 
ahead, Boomy. Boo, go ahead, Boomy. This is a <laughs> Good change. Can I burn the painting? Burn it! Uh, oh, well. Okay. Where are you going? Going to the Lotus Room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just going to go check up on them. Something wrong with that? No, come back soon. Yeah, sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure, leave it to me. All right, off to the other room. Oh, look at this. Title with black and white pattern on it. Well, take it. Or not. There's a square a tile in the, square tile in this frame. It's glued there quite well. I don't think you can take it out. Okay. This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in these square tiles. curtain rod on the ceiling probably for the shower curtains where are the curtains then it means if someone's taking a shower nobody else can use the bathroom so so i don't see a problem with that junpei you're a pervert yeah what's your point is there anything in the toilet guess not thanks empty some toilet paper we've got two rolls i guess Okay. Whoa, look! Junpei, there's a mushroom growing out of the wall! That's a shower head. Okay, no water. Play case. Check it out. The plates look really expensive. You want to take a look? The wrong key. Okay. Another one somewhere in here. Oh, uh, otherwise we're gonna be opening this thing. Okay. Shit, not opening. Alright, smash this bitch open. I don't think it's gonna work. Look like tempered glass. Throwing a table at it, it's gonna break it, okay. Round wooden table. It's very nice wood. Something on top of it. Candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. It's on an iron candlestick. Pretty big candle. If we light it, it'd probably get really bright. Oops. Come on! Oh my god. Stop having me skip this. Or let me skip it more easily. I know. If I use these matches to light the candle. I got a lit candle. It's lit, fam. It's lit, fam. Uh, Met Club, thank you for the two months in a row. But it gets so hot when I hold it. I want to put it down. Okay, I'll set it on top of the dresser. Fucking God. Got pretty bright. Yes, it worked. Open it up, grab a tile. Ceramic, doesn't look like there are any puzzles on it.
Yep. Okay. It's a cupboard. There's a freaking cupboard in here. Oh, come on. A cupboard and bedroom can only mean there's a safe in here. Damn, there's nothing in here. Got me all worked up for nothing. Old cruise ship. Oh, the Titanic. Can I have it? Nothing behind it, though. Okay. Oh, there's a shower curtain. Zeke, I love your suit and energy on the Twitch Prime stream. Good job, dude. Oh, thank you, Rubbish. Rubbish. Uh, Fate Weaver, thank you for eight months. Welcome back, Fate Weaver. All right. Curtain, huh? Got these metal rings. Probably can hang, hang it from something, you know? Doesn't look like a normal curtain. The way it feels, probably waterproof. Make this a shower curtain. Yeah, right? Sure. Anything on the blanket? Nope, nothing suspicious here. Two pillows in a pile. A pile of pillows. Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. Huh? What the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out. We should go see. We should go see? You mean turn 180 degrees? I don't know. It's a lot of work. Oh, I got it. Covered in melted wax on top of the dresser. Hey, what's this? Top of the candlestick looks kind of weird. You're right. It's all bumpy. It's a candlestick key. I think I ran into a lock I couldn't open earlier. Oh, you think? See this candlestick. Hey, it opened. Oh my God. Oh my God. Got an idea for some marketing for this channel. We make Zeke dolls and call them Stretch Marks Armstrong. Oh my God. How long have you been waiting to crack out that jam, dude? Fuck you. All right, pull that shit open. I'm gonna pull this shit open. Grab that. Ceramic porcelain, okay. I'm gonna grab this. Doesn't it look like something? Sure does. Hey, Chunpei, you got a minute? Oh man, it's startling when they just start talking out of nowhere. Hmm? Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Uh, do you want me to read a book? So fucking, what are you, some kind of reading dork? You read books, you fucking dork nerd? I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Wait, that's not where a bookmark would go. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? Uh, is this gonna get weird? I got four things. Hope, faith, love, and luck. You know, he is really growing on me, dude. Really growing on me. Hope, faith, love, and luck? Damn straight. And you hate these things? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Uh, not really, but what does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, see, each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it, okay? It does? And that meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Did you find different mushrooms than the ones we than the one we saw in the bathroom, buddy? Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah, you could call them leaf words. Leaf words. Hope, faith, love, and luck. The meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover. So, yeah, I want you to take it, okay? Did you by, did you by chance butt into this guy at Burning Man? I, I know people like this. The vast majority of people are not anywhere near like this, but there's one or two of them out there. Just touching it gives me the creeps. Take the damn thing, all right? Here. What do you want to do? 
I'll take it. Of All course right. I'll take it. Sure. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, man, I feel a lot better now. That thing was a real pain, you know? Do you really hate those four words that much? Yeah, well, they can all betray you, you know? Hope, faith, love, even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. Because of that shitty Metallica song. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. Wait, who is number four? Oh, it's Clover, duh. Clover's number four. She's in the other room with her brother, her blind brother. What, worried about the four horsemen? Yeah, four is bad luck in Japanese, right? Japanese culture. Nah, come on, man. That's just silly. Maybe back in the dark ages, that kind of crap scared people. But this is the 21st century, and I'm a 21st century guy. I'm a little insulted. Then why do you hate four so much? Oh, four sounds like the word. Wait, each ni so or each ni son shichi. So each ni son she. She is four. What's death? Oh, shichi is death. Okay. Shin is dead. Oh, I see. Okay. She and Shin. Because okay. it's a half ass number. Not the best or the worst. That's why. You, what? Yeah, fuck the number four. Nine is a way better number. Totally way better. But one is the loneliest number. Three, oh, three is a magic number. Takes two to tango. It's five to one. One to five. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. What are you... You play? Play? You mean, like, gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, duh. What else would I mean? Duh! Um, duh. In Baccarat, the best possible hand totals nine. Oh. They call it Le Grand. Which means the grand. But the lowest, most worthless cards, zeros. They call monkey. Monkey! Because of the monarchy. I know the reason behind monkey is because the zero cards are the jack, the king, the queen, because of the monarchy or the monkey. That's too many. Just like the guy in charge of this game, huh? <laughs> Zero's a monkey. What? <laughs> oh man, you're totally right. Simmer down, Spaz, it wasn't that funny. The guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, if you think about it, the Nonary game is really a lot like Baccarat. And of course it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root junk. Yeah, stupid math. You just drop the tens digit, and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh. Yeah. I guess you got a point. And in both games, whoever has nine wins. The person who makes nine wins? Wait, did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, it is hidden but an exit, exit can, can be found. Be found. Seek, Seek a way, a way out. out. Seek, Seek a, door a door that carries, carries a nine. A Wait, hold on. Does it carry a nine or do you carry the nine? You add six plus 25, carry the nine. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. And only the people in that team are going to make it out alive. Of course. That's why it's called the Nonary Game. What? Huh? I said this earlier. You don't know? Nonary means something derived from nine or base nine. It's derived from the Latin prefix nona, which means nine. Thank you, base nine. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with one horn. 
to his bi, like binary. Or non-binary. Let's not discriminate. Binary means composed of two parts. Three is try. I'm sure you've heard that one plenty. Yeah, try hard. <laughs> this guy. Right here. Silver, try hard. Get it? Because he tries three times as hard as anybody else and still fucking fails. Like trio, triple, and triangle. You get the idea. After that, you have quart, quinty, sext, septum, and so on. And of course, the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? They're not really legs. I see. So then Nona means nine. So how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? Fucking God, dude. No, no, and no, no, and no, 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 They go from one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? 81 seconds. Oh, eight, nine hours. Zero said nine hours. And finally, to get out of this ship. We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. The number nine is everywhere in this game. He's got a real theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the Nonary Game. That was... something. Let's, let's go ahead and save right there. Well, we'll we'll keep three save slots done just in case something weird happens. All right, it is break time, y'all. We're gonna take a short break. All right, we're gonna take a short three minute break. It is halftime. Don't worry, we got another whole half of the day left. Another four, four, four hours, four hours left of the day. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Small bacon, what up? Forty months. And there he is. Let's see, hold on. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Co Carnage. Ah, I can do better. Carnage. Carnage. Close, close, close. All right, anyway. Uh, I still gotta work that shit out. Uh, all right. I'm liking the game. It's fun. The the fucking dialogue in the game is is just magical. It's so fucking basic Sesame Street shit. It's hilarious. I'm really really enjoying it. But uh, don't go away. Three minute break. I will return in just after that. So get up, go pee, pack a bowl, smoke a cig, whatever you do. Pet your dog. Do not feed your cat vodka. I found out that's bad. So don't do that, but we'll come back, stick around. <laughs> 